Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode number that I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. It's five. five, five, five. five. It's five. Five, five. five. Episode five. volume one, like ten total, maybe? Yes, this is yeah, our we'll... tenth total episode, because we've done five before volume one, and this is the fifth episode of volume one. Yeah. Well, welcome back to episode five of volume one. Ooh. I'm your host, Nate Tipperin. To the right of me is the community manager, Brian Lawyer. That's me. And then, of course... <clears throat> The ladies love him. The mamas love him even more. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's so true. <laughs> it's, 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 it's the truth. It's, yeah. But not as much as Kevin Wade. It's true. Jeffrey Mayfield, Ooh, our audio me. technical engineer. But last. Wait, I should have said that first. <laughs> last but not least. There we go. The orders of words. You know, it. it's, it's hard. <laughs> we have a very, very, very... Very special <laughs> <guest>. <laughs> Very. Thanks, Nate. Emphasis on very. <laughs> Lily Tarvin, she's here today. Woo! Woo! Round of applause for Lily. Thank you. Thanks for coming. She's so Thank strong you. and brave. <laughs> she's so strong. No kidding. It takes a lot to sit, to sit across from us and talk about. Who yeah, knows what? Who knows? Not Tough. much bullying was needed this time. So. This she time. actually this really time. came. Wow. This time. It was a shocker. <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's start things off with our mad take. Mad take! <laughs> all right, today we have letter from camp contributed by Brandy and Daniel. Thanks, Brandy and Daniel. <laughs> Thank you, Brandy and Daniel. <laughs> all right. Why does it only ever give their first name? <laughs> I don't know. Now, now, the real question is, is that the same person? And they go by two different names. <laughs> oh, no. They've got multiple personalities. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Brandy. Brandy brought to you by Brandy yeah. and then a co-partner of Daniel. But they're the same person. Yeah. All right, relative. Uh, creepy uncle. I'll start nice. myself. This is just Jim who Nate's like, this creepy is mine. I've been waiting on this moment. Uncle. <laughs> All right. Brian, let's go. No, fluffy. No, oh, fluffy, I was ready. Oh, you took oh. mine. You're right. Whoa. Lily, I need an adjective. I used to learn K-pop dances. Hey, what's an adjective? Yeah, <laughs> explain it, Lily. I want the Webster. It's a descriptor. Descriptor word. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, Dang, that was so much faster than Brian. <laughs> <For real. laughs> it took so long. Uh, Bright. Bright. Yeah. Unlike right. Ryan's future. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh dang. Let's see. Black. Nice. Oh, there oh, it goes. I thought it was C. <laughs> I thought that was AC Black. I thought, you right. I thought it was the name of the person in room and you <laughs> just wrote Black. Name, name a person in room. <laughs> mm, I wonder who this should be. Oh, no. Brian. No. <laughs> uh, let's go with uh, Lily Tarvin. Okay. <laughs> All right. Wow. So it's right there. Wait, why was Wait, it right there. It even That's spelled right. correctly. It said you could auto-complete it. Wow. Oh, because it's a contact. <laughs> Autofill. I thought you were about to you click a call button. <laughs> Puts my phone number and address up there. <laughs> hey, we'll putting that in the pocket. Question, though. So we've all gone through this. Oh, no. If you were to say that your social security number is a... Amount of money, like how much money would you have? <laughs> don't answer the question. Looks on you. I don't even know the last four digits of mine. Oh, oh no. the first few <laughs> Man, I'd have like 200,500. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that in Facebook comment section. They're like, I would be so rich if you like 300 million, 600. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Stop answering. Yeah. All right. Uh, Brian adjective. What? It's not me. It's Nate. No, I just he said Lily Tarvin. I oh, said Lily. okay. <laughs> Sorry, I read Lily Tarvin and thought Lily just went left. <laughs> then it would have been Jeff's head. turn. It would have even been my turn. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <be> Nate's turn. <laughs> You're right. Um, 
<gasps> skinny. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing. I'm just going to base my answers off of my other answers. <laughs> Literally, adjective. Uh, tall. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Get some low hanging fruit. <laughs> Let's see. Ed. Ed. Um. Started. Body part. Appendix. <laughs> Appendix. I don't have one of those. <laughs> True. <laughs> They're so useless. All right, Brian. Verb ending in ing. What? Um. <laughs> All right. So. No, okay, so no I know what it is. I'm word. trying to be creative. <laughs> Because my first thought was sitting, and I've used that before. <laughs> How about crocheting? Yeah, but that's a good one. Go with crocheting. And it was entirely my idea. All right. Lily, noun plural. Puppies. Okay. Oh, puppies. Puppies. Hey, you have a puppy. A you... noun. Let's see. The Taj Mahal. <laughs> yeah, that'll a... work. That's a proper noun. Well, and too bad. It's a it's a place. Yeah, that's a proper it's noun, a Jeff. Proper noun. Oh, get with the program. <laughs> All right, no, leave it. Just say no, India. <laughs> leave it. it. Okay. I guess okay. it doesn't specific. specify. So. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. Adverb, Nate. Uh, oh, thank goodness. Wantingly, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like you're no wanting, like, you know, an officer. W- Barsh in and wantingly fired no, into. No, no, I, I got you. Isn't it W A T O? Wantingly. <laughs> wanting, <laughs> like W T O. Wantong. Wan. It's like want, W A N T O N. Uh, like this one. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Wantingly. Okay, that works too. I didn't Verb, know that was right? a word. I, yeah. I thought it was I N G. Wanting. Yeah. That's what I got, but I understand where you're coming from too. Can like to like skateboard or something be a verb? What's that? You, is think, it like can you do skateboard? wantingly or is it wantingly? It's probably wantingly. Is it just skateboard? Is it can skateboard oh, okay. word? Oh English my goodness. <laughs> what, about, gracious. what about skateboard? Is skateboard a verb and also a noun? Yeah, go for it. Skate. Skate, that'll work. All right. You could do like skateboard. But I don't want to skate with roller skates. <laughs> verb, Lily. Um, mow, like mowing the grass. Mow. <laughs> mow. Relative. Let's see. Your mom. Um, <laughs> let's see, Bernie Lloyd. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> you can watch so, this. So Shout out! <laughs> Shout out to Bernie. Um, grandfather in law. <laughs> speak. Speaking of speaking of English, like the difference between metaphor and simile. Does anyone ever yes. use simile? I know it's like or as, right? That's for yeah. simile, yeah, correct? But like, does anyone? Everyone just uses met. Is like it really that important? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I feel like is it, it can really be. though? Can you just yeah. use metaphor as more of an all-encompassing? No, you're not if you use like, like a brick wall right now. But, yeah, but like, no, you're but like, what's dumb the, as a stack of bricks? But what's the point? Like, why? Okay, why, why like, hey, I knew just what it was. Trying to do a <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm just saying. I, I'm just pinpointing the flaws in the English language. Like, why would you have two different things to describe something that would also encompass like a metaphor? Like, what's uh, they well, wanted to specify between like her as versus. <laughs> Other yeah. things? I well, don't know. thank you for the obvious point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm now that we got that far. <laughs> hey, person in room but it's like, you. why do we need 50 theirs? We don't. And that's that's see, fair. See, exactly. That's it seems right. like, yeah, it's just other languages do it. it so much better. Because when somebody messes that's it why up, I'm we can make fun of Wait. them for looking stupid. <laughs> that's yeah. true. That's the best part. Anyways, sorry. <laughs> the communist part Some... of No, not the communist part. Destructing part. the English language. <laughs> well, he's a communist. <laughs> what? what? Yeah, actually use infinity. <laughs> like, you right. own the plume. <laughs> Nate, <laughs> I know English. Made a person in room. It's something a commie would say. <laughs> Made a person in room. <laughs> Goodness. There's so many choices. <laughs> <laughs> so many. Oh, my. Crokey. Croak. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Croaky. Yeah, Croaky's down, down, down there. There, there he croaky. is. We just haven't gotten his helmet yet. Oh. <laughs> it's just an eye, right? Cookie. Cookie. <laughs> no. no. Croaky. There's no E on the end, right? Oh, that's right. All right. Go mad. <laughs> hey, Jeff, could you like start the timer for once? Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Speaking of, we're exactly 10 minutes in. 
So I, we're going to 50 minutes on the timer now. All right, we'll remember that probably now. All right, should I, should I read this? <laughs> I don't care, sure. No, we'll just sit I, here and, and look no, at I, it. We'll just, <laughs> just put it on the screen and they have to read it themselves. I am having a or Jeff, an. you forgot the top line again. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's important. Dear creepy <laughs> uncle, <laughs> I am having a an fluffy time at camp. The counselor is bright and the food is black. <laughs> Yummy. I, I met Lily Darwin <laughs> and we became skinny friends. <laughs> Unfortunately, Lily Darwin is tall. I started my appendix so we couldn't go crocheting like everybody else. <laughs> I teach more puppies in a Taj Mahal sharpener <laughs> so please please wantonly skate more when you mow back your grandfather <laughs> oh, that, was, that was really good so, so, hold, on, hold, hold on we gotta, we gotta we break that we down do real quick your grandfather-in-law is, is that the cave. nephew it's the nephew of the, the creepy uncle writing. of the creepy uncle <laughs> yep makes sense all right. Well, you could look at it as the grandfather. I guess that, Wait, yeah. So, so that's his uncle, but the uncle, he's the grandfather-in-law too. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And that's why he's the creepy uncle. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for real. Oh. We became we need a genealogist friends. to break that one down for me because it's, it's a little, little, little weird. I need a Taj Mahal sharpener. <laughs> Taj Mahal. Yeah, for real. How would you describe the a Taj fluffy Mahal time at camp going? Dull. What 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 encompasses a fluffy time at camp? Not getting hit by a golf cart. What? <laughs> what? That what? happened to me at camp. <laughs> I was gonna say there's got to be some context yeah, here that I'm right. missing. That's so anyway, too story specific. time. I was at camp. Um, you know, never, camp? no, this was church camp, never went back because of this. <laughs> um, oh, no. And so, you know, some counselor left their golf cart right at the like food stand or whatever. And I was like, oh, I got to check this the out, you know? And so I was, you know, trying to oh. like get the hood lifted up. I was like, what's under here? You know, like what kind of engine we dealing with? And I didn't see some kids getting the golf cart just freaking mash the Why are you looking pedal? underneath This the seems itch. like it was your problem. Would no. you expect like a V8 <laughs> under there? Or what? I, I don't know. I was just trying to see what we were working with. <laughs> Why did you go so play it's partially like a normal... your fault. I was standing in front of it. They could see me. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> but you had the hood up, so you could, they could tell. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. I was working on it. <laughs> you were working. <laughs> Doing yeah. some work on the engine. You had to tune that thing up. It sounds like this is your fault, Jeff. That's, <laughs> That's what, what I'm thinking. I, know. I went down the water slide and called it a day. <laughs> <laughs> Never went back. Played some tether balls. Some, uh, <laughs> what, what is the pool ball? It, it the carpet ball. Carpet, carpet ball. ball. Carpet ball is real yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Carpet ball. Sol- solid game. It is. Yeah. 10 out of 10. True. All right. So fluffy yeah. time. So... That's what not a fluffy time is. So what, <laughs> That's Lily, the opposite. What is a fluffy time at I camp? would say having heat exhaustion at camp. Because wait, everything wait, is a fluffy time. That seems like not a fluffy time again. Time? Is a fluffy time because you're like hallucinating half the time because you have heat exhaustion. Well, I'm hallucinating and for other fluffy, reasons, but so not because yeah. of this heat exhaustion. That's, That's what I think of. <laughs> so Lily's talking about out of body experiences. <laughs> So, Brian, let's explain what an in-body fluffy time <laughs> would be like. would encompass. Brian is an expert in these matters. Yeah. What? <laughs> so, explain to us, Brian. What do we got here? <laughs> we're, lo- we're talking about a- an in-body an fluffy, an time. An fluffy, an fluffy time. time at camp. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> but you don't want a fluffy time See, for camp thought... at me. So when okay. I was younger, yeah. I had like a uh, really bad, uh, I had a basically a fear of going to the bathroom in public. Okay. So well, I got like, pretty fluffy because like, I would not take a like, dump for <laughs> <laughs> like public as in like you're walking into the food court. It's like, oh, I got to go. <laughs> like you just pull your pants down right there. Exactly. Well, no. like, I mean, like, like, public public to go in camp because I'm still a little nervous <laughs> about going to the restroom. In but like I had it real bad when I was younger. Okay. So a fluffy time it came for me is being bloated because I wouldn't take a dump at camp. <laughs> <laughs> Just or, in the pool. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> or not being able to because camp food. Well, that's that's also true. fair. That, that's probably part of it, too. It's like, man, I just get, you know, I, I'm kind of scared, plus I am actually constipated. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a fluffy time at camp. <laughs> and that's a fluffy time at camp. Okay. 
All right. Anything else we need to break down? I start my appendix. I don't, think... <laughs> I don't even know if I want to go there. <laughs> May, how did you start your appendix? <laughs> Fortunately, Dude, that Lily is a... Tarvin is small. <laughs> Which is not true. A little good one. A little <laughs> funny. Jokes on me. But yeah, so <laughs> that is another funny story about bowel movements. <laughs> <laughs> how you started your appendix? How my appendix started not functioning on me is more of what it was. <laughs> But yeah, no, uh, it's actually a pretty cool story. So, uh, not actually a cool story at all, but basically what happened, long story short, uh, we had pancakes nice. and I told my mom, pancakes like, Hey, not good. feeling good. So the pancakes were gone out of my body, <laughs> not to go into detail, but they were gone. I'm like, oh, your I, imagination. Feel, <laughs> I feel a little bit better now. Thus the pressure releases. <laughs> <laughs> yes, little, I, I relieved myself of said pressure in my tummy. I had some rumblies in my tummies, and, and, and they were gone. And then the rumblies were no Let's longer just with say us. So. I was doing better. <laughs> and then I was like, "Hey, and I feel better." And I'm like, "So, it's like, maybe I'll eat a little bit more." And so I started eating. I'm like, "Nope, this ain't happening." So I relieved myself of the rumblies again. Okay. Then I'm like, "Man, this is not getting better." So I was like, "Hey, I'll take a hot bath to help." relieve the pain right and then i was in the bathtub i'm like nah man <laughs> i ain't feeling this i'm like hey mom i gotta go to the hospital like it's bad yeah. this is like six-year-old me and like yeah i need to go to the emergency room right now and like i had a pretty decent pain tolerance when i was younger so i said it like straight face to my mom I'm like i gotta go to the hospital she's like what do you mean like i gotta go to the hospital <laughs> like now <laughs> like right now and like I can, you know, I I was, you know, I was in pain, but I wasn't really showing it visually. And my dad came home and took me to the hospital, and the rest was history. I also pooped all over the floor on the nice in the hospital because I because I so I had to take stuff for my MRI. They had, they had like this little thick liquid you have to drink, and they usually put it in a sprite, and it yeah. was didn't settle well with my stomach. Plus, my appendix was about to yeah, explode. Right. So I was in the bathroom and I was peeing and then it just, <laughs> and so you don't have one of those gowns, <laughs> right? Oh no. And so it just go <laughs> <laughs> off the ground. Yeah, I, know, I felt so I bad. you gave it to, to me and it was white, but it's not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, I was like, oh, well, at no. least I'm clearing my system. But what was really cool about that part, and what's fun, what was funny, it was like, man, I get to ring the little, little buzzer that everyone <laughs> wants true. to pull. I'm like, true. yes, I get to do it. <laughs> <laughs> So, I get so to hit it. I get to pull this that little lever to warn the... Pull so. the lever, Kron. Having an appendix is just... There's no point. Yeah. We don't know what it does. I don't need and one day anymore. Like, at least not I'm often. Just, <laughs> at least when not I often. cause some problems, think I'm going to explode today. Hey, what if I kill you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I just implode inside of you. No, but it's true. Like, yeah, the appendix yeah. really doesn't do... Nothing. Do much. Speaking, though, of people relieving themselves... <laughs> some... What? <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. Speaking so, of... Some of my coworkers have some interesting stories. I don't even. If you're want watching to know. this, he's outing you right and now. And it's it's what we started to refer to as poop culture <laughs> at our company. We're going to put like a, a an advisory before yeah. people watch. It's so like I just want to. If you're squeamish, please don't. Watch. Yeah, I just don't want to tell this one it. story because, it, quite frankly, it's just amazing. So is it cut <laughs> to him in the shower? <laughs> I don't think he's, I want to cut there. Yeah. When, like, so, can we not cut there? <laughs> he's showering, and he's told this story many times, and he starts thinking, oh my gosh, I gotta go. And we're not talking number one. <laughs> we're talking number two. And so he's like, yeah. And so, you know, and I was thinking like, uh, I don't, you know, I don't want to get out of the shower and then get back This has got to be the dumbest thing I've ever heard in oh, my life. Oh, it's go, oh, it's getting there. And so... He decides, you know, the best oh, no, thing I remember. To do. I know the story, yeah. <laughs> the best thing to do, he's like, you know, I'll just, you know, I, I think it'll be all right. And I've had my own, you know, mashed potatoes I've had to do with the shower. What? what? <laughs> Drain. Huh? Yeah, where like he's went ahead and gone, and then just pushed it. Oh the my gosh, <laughs> dude, you are in a bathroom. <laughs> just know. get out of the shower. And so he decides, it's like probably two feet away from you. He decides that's worst case scenario, but best case scenario, he's gonna reach underneath and catch it as it comes out. How and, is that best case and, scenario? And once it's done, he'll just <laughs> reach. Over out of the shower into the toilet and drop it off. 
No. Because it's within an arm's reach, <laughs> Logic. apparently. So there, get out no, of the no, shower. So he does it. He successfully catches it. I don't believe this for He me. successfully catches it. And as he's trying oh my to gosh. reach out of the shower to dump it in the toilet, he slips <laughs> and pulls the entire curtain and crashes down in the bathroom. And his mom comes into the bathroom. <laughs> it's like the dumb and dumber moment. He's all right. And he's naked. Laying on a shower curtain with poop in his head. <laughs> it's like the Dumb and Dumber. I remember that when he's in the bathroom and he has the chocolate bar and gets it like everywhere. <laughs> is that Dumb and Dumber? I can't remember what, what that is. But so. Oh no, I remember him telling that story. All right, we have more. <laughs> let's let's save him for another time. <laughs> Volume two. <laughs> Do you want to hear more about the <laughs> Jeff's poop shooter? <laughs> it's poop culture. <laughs> Whatever. Get it right, Nate. I'm so sorry. Not really. Right. <laughs> so sorry, except Anywho. I'm not. <laughs> Moving forward. Yes, please. Please so, do. Uh, what did I write? It's a special guest. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot to put very, <laughs> a very, very special guest. <laughs> so, yeah, Lily's here. I'm so glad you could join us today. I'm mm-hmm. sure you're glad as well to be in our presence. Yeah, we're like, more of... <laughs> now that we're 20 minutes into the podcast, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you can so, leave now. Okay. So, so Lily, let's go over your last relationship. Um, so what happened here? Oh, Jeff. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, anyway, and that's the end of that one. <laughs> Goodbye. We'll have to cut that one out. Whoa. <laughs> and that's what we hey, input. Hey, that's uh, all we're talking about today. Hey, hey, hey. There's your input. The, cor- the, cor- the color. <laughs> that's where we put the color. Oh, yeah. Okay, the, the that's where you in. put the... Uh, <laughs> You put the I colored learned. colored screen with the I love K-pop. <laughs> it's over. Yeah, over the head. <laughs> Let's just say it didn't end well between her and K-pop. <laughs> so, Lily, tell your, uh, us about your obsession of K-pop dancing. <laughs> I hate Can all you of go you. ahead and replicate? Well, let's, let's let's see some <laughs> no. of your moves right here live. It's not even live. You but... have to keep it in that camera frame. Though. <laughs> you have to keep it in there. You can't move the camera. <laughs> let's see the moves. All right. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. Anyways, new well, music. She hasn't learned much. <laughs> We're <Yeah>. all learners. <laughs> We're all beginners. Lots of thought K pop musical win. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's the next great idea. We do a musical, except it's a K pop musical. Starring Lily Tarvin. No. We do it live. And. <laughs> She starts and we just leave. <laughs> we just, oh, it's just filming it's for just an hour. <laughs> All K-pop fans. It's an entire hour-long episode, just like normal. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, moving on to a little bit more of a serious topic. So, we've talked about the Deer series uh, in length in previous episodes. But um, it's been a while since we've actually discussed it again. And there's actually been some work sp- be work being done behind the scenes. Holy cow, we did work behind the scenes? <laughs> yes, we actually do that kind of stuff every once in a while. Who Not knew? us, Brian. <laughs> to be fair, I did other work behind the scenes. For to be fair, I do you... a lot of work behind the scenes. <laughs> I did stream work behind the scenes. <laughs> so, our first edition of the Deer series is going to be dedicated to music. Specifically, because this is a music podcast, and so we haven't discussed. So I, we've advertised as being a sports, gaming, and music podcast, and have (laughs) we have not touched on music, (laughs) do anything music related. True. So we're gonna do it big, big to make up for all the lost time. We're gonna do two hours. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't sign up for this. I haven't. I haven't. Um, but we're not doing that today. I haven't really discussed this with you guys, but I think we're going to do it more of a video format, so it's more we're like We're going to vlog it. It's not oh my goodness, we're going to vlog it. Just like it's, we're going to vlog Thor it's right not after this. Be, yeah, yeah come t- tune in if you want to watch Thor for free. Tune in if you want to watch Thor for us. We'll stream it. We'll be, we'll be live. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be live, except this was... Yeah, everybody three, catch us three, three days, days ago when we were live. <laughs> <laughs> We we make that a bad habit of making this person, like, oh, we'll go, like, and then we're like, oh wait, this isn't going up until After. like four days from now. <laughs> Anyways, so this will probably be more of a video format than an actual podcast. So it's going to involve probably a lot more work. So it'll be oh no, <laughs> it'll be uh, starting to I'll, sweat I'll, a little. <laughs> <over>. <laughs> It'll take you started uh, that a while ago. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm sorry, Jeff, but still, unless you get me the software. Like... Hey, you are staying. How long are you staying for IU? So we get 
So I get another year of it. Another year of it. So Woo! we get free software for another year, which yeah. is phenomenal. So we don't have to actually Top pay end for software. it. It's really nice. <laughs> Thanks, IU. It does have to work for If I had to do all of it myself, it would be terrible. But Kenzie Lori is She's FaceTiming me. and calling me. So I wonder. Oh. Hey, oh, no. where's my call? You're not special, Brian. Hello. I guess we're using. <laughs> all right. Did you answer it? Uh, Brian's on the podcast hey, right now. Hey, we're recording right now. Can what you do you need? Here? What do you need? Is, is Lily there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Lily's on the podcast too. She's she's on the podcast right now. They made me over lunch. They convinced me. Okay. We'll <laughs> We'll be done in thirty, 30 minutes. Thirty minutes. <laughs> okay, I will text you after. Bye. See you. Oh, she hung up on me. <laughs> I'm in trouble. I think you are. Uh-huh. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh. anyway, we got about 34 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'll be fine. Ooh. All right. So, anyway, a little hot. Anyway, back to so where this will we be more of a, a formal, professional. Back to where we were. Back video. Sweet, serious topic. With editing quick. and all. So, oh gosh. So yeah. So with editing and all, Jeff. Yeah, that's well, great. I'll, I'll I'll help you. I'll be a part of this a little bit more involved than than previous. So, <laughs> all right. And, anyways, so yeah, so we had started the work. We actually started the writing for it, and by we, I mean me. I started the writing for it, but I read it. I thought about what I would add, but did not write it. But down. it's fine. No, yeah, I'm just that's where we're at right now. So we have an introduction typed up, and essentially what we're wanting to accomplish by this is do a deep dive in the philosophical importance of music on on human life and just kind of the history behind music how it's helped us through various aspects of our life specifically but as well as encompassing humanity as a whole and so we'll do a lot of uh so i think the the topic breakdown if you want to go ahead and scroll down for me jeff i have oh, the topics i can scroll all right oh thank you jeff scroll thanks daddy <laughs> i hate Pop, big that Papa jeff. Oh, gosh <laughs> Where are the topics? Uh, I I typed a lot. Okay, just so okay. So did you write a novel? <laughs> did you write a... I thought you said you read it, Brian. I did, but I forgot how long it was. <laughs> so okay, so our first topic is going to be about the origins of music. So where did music come from? So essentially, just kind of like the first records of music, and then kind of how it adapted and evolved over time, and then. It's pretty boring for a while. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty. And, and Jeff had to take classes it, on this until the Jackson it, Five. But it's, <laughs> yeah. it's important to know that everything that we can talk about, and this is always the disclaimer in my own classes, is everything we talk about is just what we know. No, exactly. So that's, so that's the issue. That's why it becomes boring, is because the only information available is just stuff that was extremely, extremely, extremely popular enough to actually be written down. Yeah. So it makes makes a little boring for a while. So. But we'll, we'll do a deep dive origin of music. We'll try to make it as entertaining as possible. So it's pretty much the history of music. We'll sing we'll, it. We'll, we'll sing the entire <laughs> history, all the way to the ancient Catholic hymns. It just goes so slow that all of a sudden it's the Halo thing. That's what I was going to say. I was going to say, Nate was, I was say Nate was ready to start singing the Halo thing. Okay, anyway, yeah. so yeah, we'll talk about that. Um, Where do you think they the got it from? The impact of music on human, human <laughs> development. Saying. Yep. Uh, Lily and I actually discussed this a little bit before the podcast, but I find this extremely interesting on how uh, humans utilize music in so many different and various ways, especially during the developmental stages yep. of human life, and even to to combat things like uh, like, like chronic short. depression, even in educational tools for memorization. Um, mm. Baby shark. Baby shark, and that's right. <laughs> there's a reason why there's catchy jingle. Those are catchy. Even to adult ears is because it's such a good educational tool. And it also get, makes the money because more people watch it. But So it can also yeah. be used for market. It can be used in, in uh, propaganda. There's so many different influences. It's, it's played an important part in war. And actually, a lot of music developed was at the beginning of war and how soldiers would use to cope with the brutality of of combat and they would actually sing songs so on and so forth so we would kind of discuss all of that and uh and how it affects us 
not only our daily life, but also potential impacts of music in the future and then uh, how it was used in the past as well. Next would be music in the media, which there's so many different cool aspects why of just the breaking bad. Why is the only thing linked to breaking bad the aim? That's that's well there's more okay, so, so so if you go even that's further d- hey, <laughs> if you go further down, there's music to be used in the video. Oh yeah. And so we start putting it in the specific spots. Hey, it's a halo. Yeah, that we already have it there. So, it's right by the Breaking Bad theme. True. So, Again. Tyler and I, so another another. I aspect, saw Tyler had written some stuff. Tyler will be our, our guest for this specific video. <laughs> if you've ever Dude. watched a stream, you know who that you is. You know who that is, T. Gray. And or he, unless you caught one of the ones that he slept through. <laughs> you could have caught one that he <laughs> sure. literally slept through a stream. <laughs> yeah. or, or the one where he fell asleep <laughs> while we were streaming. That's what I was talking about. That's okay. what I was talking about, yeah. <laughs> And so uh, he's been profoundly impacted by music uh, in his life, and he can discuss more about that uh, if he wants to when he comes on. But music has played a very, very important uh, important part in his life. And so he feels very passionately about uh, this, this subject matter, and he has some, some things he wants to say. So we're going to have him on. And... Not as much for me, though. What? It hasn't had that much effect on me. Oh yeah, Jeff. Jeff, the could music, care less about music. the music major who's going to be a band director. <laughs> it's only it's the he's you know he's uh, making he's a living. The bills. It's the only thing that's actually paying oh. his bills. So um, does yes. it though? <laughs> Money <laughs> does it? Does it though? Kind of gets most of them paid. Yeah. You know, teachers Here aren't really edge. appreciate that. There's a whole other topic about the educational system and the amount of money they get paid, or the lack of money they get paid <laughs> that'll for that. Be yeah. Another episode. <laughs> that is a whole episode dedicated. Tune in for dear teachers. <laughs> dear, one hundred percent that will be discussed in that, and I think that may be one that we we do in the future. Anyways, if you go ahead and scroll back up, I oh, oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Jeff, I, yeah, I'm I'm sorry. You like that? Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> you, <laughs> you scroll too far. There you go. It could be a little bit smoother, Jeff. I don't know. It's well, a little it's the AirPlay. It's the Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. Brian oh, gotcha. has a terrible router. <laughs> Why don't you get better Wi-Fi, not. Brian? <laughs> you barely <laughs> reach into this room and it's 20 <laughs> feet away. <laughs> Good <But>, router. <laughs> so yeah, I think music and media would be something that we can all discuss. It's yeah. Well, except Lily, she except, be here. except Lily wouldn't be here. We did discuss a little Taking bit of over. that beforehand. All right, Lily, <laughs> take discuss right, well, music and Lily's media. Taking over, so I'm going home, guys. Uh, Anyways, we'll catch you never because it's Lily's show now. It's <laughs> okay. my show. Well, <laughs> welcome to Lily in Thought. <laughs> you don't want that. <laughs> Is there, any, is there anything up there, Lily? There's either nothing or K-pop. 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 <laughs> you think, you're thinking about the same thing that Jeff's thinking about according to his thought bubble? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, you forgot to put your thoughts up there? Yeah, oh, wait, no. you don't have any thoughts. Oh, I got no thoughts. thoughts no. I don't know if you want me to write them down. Oh, please don't, do I'll, it. I'll start. You guys go ahead with everything But else. anyways, yeah, music in the media. So there are so many different ways that media, or I mean, you can music itself media spe- specifically impacts or music specifically impacts media and vice versa <laughs> jeff could you be any more aggressive <laughs> while <laughs> okay we're gonna have to cut you off right there but i do we, agree with music uh, equal cool. dang, it, dang it the camera's still backwards gosh dang <laughs> it. <laughs> 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 Well, you fixed it last you week. Fixed it last time. Did it, really? Yeah. yeah, it was fine. Oh, it must just auto. It probably auto changes it. Okay, but yeah. So, music and media. <laughs> cool. There's so many different cool as like so many different composers who sometimes I think that the music tells the story more than the story itself. Yeah. Like, and I think that's when music is at its best. Is when that it almost it, me personally when the music is telling the story. I mean, of course what you're watching or what you're seeing is being complimented by the music. But when the music can stand alone and actually tells the story after you've watched the film, I think that is really, really cool. And uh, it invokes a lot of emotional response, especially in me, specifically when I'm watching media that has that, that aspect. And even with music in general, like classical composers, um, a lot of classical music will tell an entire story without anything but the music itself. Like, there's no auditory or visual tools to help you 
at least um, help you along with painting a picture of a story. But if the music can do it itself, I mean, that's something spectacular. So we'll, we'll discuss some of that and how that's incorporated in music and media and specifically in Hans Zimmer. started writing composers. 100% John Williams. <laughs> also phenomenal. But yeah, I don't know. What, what do you guys think about Just that? some artists it, it, of our time. like music and media and how it, how it impacts like the, I mean just think about watching a movie without music in oh, it. Oh yeah, I mean, it would be terrible. It connects the emotion easier than anything else can. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I agree 100%. So, we'll definitely do more of a deep dive in Music in that. hits it reaches a part of the brain that other stuff nothing can. Yeah, and and something I mentioned Which I'm pretty sure you wrote in there, which is also like a giant theme to the newest Stranger Things series that none of you oh, watch, so I can't I talk about <laughs> hey, it with any of you. Hey, I actually watched I actually had to stop myself from watching it last night. I started the first episode. Thank you. So of, I, the, of the fair, of like the at the first beginning, season, yeah. yeah. That's what oh. I figured. Because so I watched season, I started watching season three or season four. Excuse me, last night. Yeah. At about ten o'clock, and that was one of the biggest mistakes that I ever made. Dude, I, could I watched. Not stop. I watched starting season four. I watched the first episode of season four. I started at nine p.m. I finished <laughs> the entire thing that night. Also, Stranger Things. Each epi- there are seven episodes, and each is an hour and a half long. Oh, yeah. And I was at like one o'clock, and I'm like, I'm never going to wake up if I don't go to bed right now. <laughs> so I had to force myself to stop. Anyways, but also, um, Stranger Things, its score, like that 80s retro it's synth yeah. theme, Incredible. is so good. That's mm-hmm. cool. I think it, it really helps. But the, uh, yeah, the music reaching the brain is like a big part of that season. Is it really? Yeah, we can talk about that later. Spoilers. Well, I don't want to talk about it now because it will spoil it. So we can wait until we actually talk well, I, about I've it. I've basically seen it with everything you've said already. So you no, know. you <laughs> haven't. But yeah. So yeah, there's, gave it all away. But yeah, like something I mentioned, I do <laughs> mention that plot. in what I risk. I say I remembered reading. There's it. a quote um, by uh, by Galileo, essentially yeah. saying that mathematics, and I do a comparison between mathematics and music. Mathematics is the yeah no. Okay, <laughs> just just let me have my moment, Brian. Yeah. That music, or not music, that mathematics is the language in which God wrote the universe, which that's not verbatim, but it's paraphrased. But music is, I forget what I said, music is essentially the uh, the language of the soul. So it's something deeper than the outside physical wor- world, and it's something that reaches deep in your conscious. And it's kind of, it's a little bit more profound, at least... As far as we know, yeah, it um, was. So, but I, I think that I, I think to be very true, that music is kind of it, it's almost it, it's deeper than than what we can kind of physically, yeah, connect or mentally, to like a part of comprehend a part of you that other stuff moment. can't. So, so yeah, we'll definitely get do a, a deep dive into into that stuff. So, uh, other aspects that we'll probably talk about uh, during this deer series is. Music and sports, oh, war, baby, music and war, competition Ooh, in general. My favorite music. Which war and sports kind of? I mean, obviously they're two completely different things, but the the competitive. <laughs> but they kind of go together. But the competitive aspect of it. And sports how, are war. How <laughs> sports are war without murder. <laughs> sports are war. Video games are violence. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> We'll let and, Brian talk about but, that but, on his own later. But, but music <laughs> is, is is important in those aspects, especially with you know preparing combatants and or sports athletes preparing for the inevitable collision between two between adversaries, essentially. And the reason I say it like that is because I want to draw the comparison between how those competitive aspects are similar and how they both psychologically impact. Um, how music psychologically impacts those mediums of competition. That makes sense. Yeah. So, um, I think that's also very, very interesting and something we could talk a lot about. And um, yeah, I'm I'm I'm, pretty, I'm really excited about this. As you could tell, it's yeah. like just like Woo. in two hours, like cranked out like an intro. But for real, it was. I, I had to do it. You wrote a novel and it was like two hours. And... I had to do it quickly while it was fresh on my mind or I'd lose yeah. it all. So I was just like, I just got to start typing. Got to no. write it down before it's gone forever. I have tons of notes on my phone like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A lot of deep things in there. 
<laughs> makes a lot of that sense. That should be though. another episode. Like what I'm getting at the grocery store. <laughs> just going to just, just notes up. <laughs> Dude, there's so many random things. I don't title any of my notes either, so I'm like, oh, gosh, where did I put that thought from three years ago? Dude, you should start putting those in your Jeff. Oh, my oh, gosh, you're right. Just put them up there. Dude. Oh, dang it, my phone's recording. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll just send that. <laughs> just, hold on, I gotta get this. Well, it's fresh in my mind. But yeah, so we'll talk about... Uh, it's the main angle, too. It just cuts <laughs> out for me and me. You don't need to see us anyways. <laughs> I mean, we're both extremely sexy, and I know you guys want to look at us, but sacrifices have to be made sometimes for content, you know? Anyways, so yeah, sports and or sports and competition, music and competition, that'll be one of our focal points. And then finally, we'll probably talk a little bit about how music has impacted our lives, specifically. Um, I know for me, piano, music with studying, and like, you know, during my college years, was impactful uh worship um um being part of the christian faith how worship has impacted my life musically especially my family um being uh musically gifted and being part of a worship team and how that has impacted me developmentally and growing up in my appreciation for music and then multicultural music because i'm a weeb and i enjoy <laughs> i love it <laughs> we... i've taken a lot of like lessons and stuff on on just different cultures, yeah, music is so great. Good. Um, especially like uh, East Asia, like all some of that stuff yeah. is just really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you know things like Mongolian throat singing. I don't know if you guys have oh, ever heard yes. of that. Yep. Have you heard that, Lily? Mongolian throat singing. Yes, I have. It's so it cool. is crazy. It's yeah, so insane. Then then also I'll probably talk a little bit about music. This is all. Oh, this is all subject to change. But, um, yeah, I read so, ahead. I read did you read me? <laughs> Music makes me brain happy. <laughs> Tyler has also posted some of his thoughts about what he wants to discuss during his segment. Yeah, and he put in music makes me brain happy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, and, and Why even did like, he write in the third person, <laughs> <laughs> true. I, I look. Thank you. Brain blast thinking is easy with music. I I understand all the context because we were discussing this beforehand. See, I I would actually go against that thought that thinking is easy with music. Are you the it's, opposite? It's very hard for me to think because I will just analyze the whole song. I, I'm I'm somewhat of the if it, the song is too complex, so I'll, then I'll I, like, I think about the song too much. See, I can listen to music while I read. See, and because I'm comprehending the book and the music, like turns my other thoughts off, so right. it's easier for me to get through something when there's music playing. I but, can't do that see, for me while reading because of like, I don't know. I guess the importance of music to me. Oh, okay. I, I cannot. I have to figure it out. Yeah. So it's like I all I can hear is like this chord progression, bridge hits here. This is the rhythm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was a weird bass You're like line. Breaking What's down the bass line doing? Everything yeah. that's and happening. Then, and then I'm like, oh, there's a tambourine on the e's and us of this entire measure. Yeah. There, and yeah. Like, and it just keeps going and going. See, I, so that's why I typically <laughs> during, if it's a longer drive, I don't put any radio on. See, I don't fall asleep. I get so tired. I'll oh, mentally from wear so out. Much. Yeah. 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 I'm the same way, except the inverse. So if it's something lyrically involved, I'll spend too much time. Right, like I'll I'll focus too much about what the person is trying to say, mm-hmm. what they're trying to say, how they're trying to convey a message, how it relays to. I just aspects of my never life. listen to lyrics, so I'm like the opposite. Yeah, where I, I used I, to learn K-pop dances when we were in show choir for warm ups. Yeah, I, some yeah, classical something that makes sense. I can listen to songs that have lyrics. I it's just that. not as easy because i do like to listen to the lyrics that's yeah. that's how i am so that's Unless why it's a song that i know really well and i already know the lyrics and everything then it's like yeah brain fog again and that's but... why i listen to classical music is because sometimes depending on the classical piece i'll try to i'll think a little bit too much about it but usually yeah. if it's just instrumental i can study or fo- or focus on whatever task is at hand while having that in the background but if it's like i said lyrically involved yeah, I can not. if it's mm-hmm. if it's directly involved, I usually can't listen to it while I work either. Stuff yeah, like I, that. I get distracted. I don't even like hear the lyrics half the time. I multiple times I've gone to show my mom a song because I'm like, you have to listen to like how this progresses through the song. Like it's just crazy, like the layers that, that they add throughout and how they do it and the transitions. 
And like the first, you know, first word is like, F you. <laughs> and my mom's like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, I didn't even know that was there. <laughs> I, just, I wasn't even listening. Just listen to the music. She's like, what kind of music just are you listening to? to? I was like, no, just listen to the backing track. <laughs> Oh no! That's hilarious. Yeah, it was terrible. It's like Grandma, okay, take a load of this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, listen to how cool this is. <laughs> but just slit and not screaming at the top. Of yeah. uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. So we'll we'll discuss specifically how Im- music has impact our life. I'm about to sneeze. Hold on. I thought you were like, no, it, <laughs> music has just affected my life so my life. much. It, I can't even go and begin to explain. Right. He was moved so much, was, he can't explain. I didn't even sneeze. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but And I lost my train of thought. Oh, freak. Well, it's gone. You, do, do. you said <laughs> something about... No, that was last week. That was Jeff's thoughts from last <laughs> week. Uh, oh, how music impacted us? Yeah. I, 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 wow, well, it was the last 20 minutes. No, no, I understood that. I had a continuation to that. Oh, yeah, I, I remember now. So, See, it was helpful. See, it worked. So, nice. Thanks, Lily. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. So, I'm going to sneeze again. Oh, oh my <laughs> goodness. Remember the thought. Remember the thought. So, we'll also be incorporating music in the background, kind of drive home our points. In, like while we're playing it? Or like while we're talking? We're while we're talking. Well, it's going to be video form. It's not going to be like a podcast. We're going to pre record and then do like a compilation of different music at different points where it makes sense. That's why we gotcha. have it broken down on, on we the... We just app. hit the Lo-Fi Girl channel <laughs> lo-fi the entire girl time. <laughs> so we might actually incorporate that because that's actually kind of a cultural phenomenon as well. Yeah, that's true. So that yeah. might be incorporated. So this will be a, a long video. I wouldn't imagine it being a few hours, not a few hours, but it'll be, it'll be, it'll be an hour plus. Hours long. It'll be it's 17 hours. It's just <laughs> all of the Star Wars trilogies just, with their music so, in the back. It, it's just the entire Morbius movie. <laughs> it's it's Morbid time. time. <laughs> Are you ready to Morb? Because I am do music. Dun, dun, dun. Lily, did you see that meme that was like, I loved this moment in Kenobi. And it shows Kenobi doing his stance, right? That everybody's really happy to see him do yes. like, with the lightsaber and everything. Yeah. And then it just showed him, he goes, it's Kenobi time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. That's great. It's <laughs> Kenobi time. <laughs> oh my god. It was so mm. good. <laughs> oh, he's about to wand these. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> so yeah, uh, uh, do, is there anything else? Uh, uh, I, I don't think so. Hold like, down. Th- th- <laughs> Me and Jeff haven't yeah. wrote our oh, own yeah. stuff um, yet. So. Also, Lily mentioned something about I? how uh, sp- I think something that would be cool to talk about uh, is how special needs oh, children. Yeah. Yes, maybe you can talk about that a little bit. Lily, yeah. If you want so, to. Um, one of my jobs, I work with kids with disabilities, like either academically, behaviorally, whatever it is. Um, and some of them are either there's like some nonverbal children or um, partially verbal or whatever. Um, And for those children, it's really hard to express themselves. So a lot of their emotions come out as looking angry because it's either in a form of sometimes a tantrum or just yelling and screaming or not really knowing how to get those emotions out because they aren't verbal. And so they really thrive in music class because they're able to kind of use music as a way to express those emotions that they can't express normally and it was really cool because someone that we know from our church he was nonverbal through like age nine I think Um, and then he started um, learning to play piano and learning different instruments I think he plays guitar as well and then he started singing and all of a sudden he was able to communicate um, not only through his songs but he actually became verbal like everyday language as well and so it was really cool to see how that kind of like impacted his life as well and it's cool to see how the kids I work with really like thrive in music class and are able to get those emotions out for the day and yeah it's express and communicate through music yeah it's interesting um because yeah I mean you're exactly right it's it's interesting to because it's so often seen as such a higher society thing to do Mm. um that you know it's a it's a special thing and I mean, it is a special thing, but it's also it's not special to people. Yeah, you know, it's no, it's, yeah. it's special that 
everyone can participate in. Yes. And so, I mean, even at work, and Brian knows this, we have this guy that comes in. I mean, he's completely out of it. He's li- living in his own world. He's fine. He's harmless. But, like, as in he thinks everybody is animals, like, legitimately. It's l- kind of scary. But he'll go into the drum room and just start ripping gospel tracks. Yeah. And, and it's like somebody like He him, goes and plays on the set for like four hours and he's just ripping it the whole time. Yeah, and he's wow. just like listening to his headphones. And so, so it's like you think, and as, you know, I don't want to say especially drum set, but there's so many things going on on a drum set. Mm-hmm. You would think somebody that society has classified as somebody who can't process things right? the way norm, normal, if there is a normal, yeah. people can. It's like, okay, well, he's able to do that. So like, yeah. so there has to then be a change that music is able to unlock in his brain. And I think yeah. music is a very, is crazy. like, one of the great unifiers of society. Right. Because, like, you could have a million differences between two people, but they could both be so musically gifted that they come together and make some beautiful something of music. And it's like, oh, here we feel the same despite whatever differences we have. I think that's really cool. Yeah, and I mentioned, I mentioned something similar to that, uh, kind of the intro that I had been working on, how essentially music, and I, do, I, do, I draw another comparison to mathematics, it's like a unifying language. It, mm-hmm. It's non-negotiable. It's something that everyone relates to in some capacity. Uh, I wonder, I'm always curious about uh, civilizations that haven't been reached by like a, developed countries are like modern and yeah, see how sure. mm-hmm. their impacts of like how they respond to music but kind of uniformly like mathematics right is, is is just something that brings not necessarily brings everyone together but is like it it, it knows no ba- it knows no cultural uh segregation it knows no mm-hmm. uh like geological bounds it knows no you know it, it doesn't care what color your skin is it doesn't care you know who you affiliate all those different factors it kind of, it's like that unifying language whereas yeah. there's so many language barriers you know across the world to a sense it's cool to have something like like mathematics but it's even it, even so the same thing as for music that brings us all together and has one common mm-hmm. uniform world kind of like encompassing language that we can discuss and communicate i think without... one thing that's cool about that too is like for me, music, because of that point they're making, like, unifying everyone, I think that that's one reason, like, God really put music, like, in our hearts and our societies, like, all together because we can't communicate with other languages, like, normally because we don't speak the same language, but we all understand music because worship is written on our hearts for God, and so that is, like, just a universal thing, whether people are Christians or not, God designed us to worship Him, and so part of that is music and I think that's really cool that that's a unifying thing because that's something that I mean God created all of us we're all his creation so music and worshiping him is something that we can all do yeah and and something another and I agree 100% with that and another thing that Jeff had mentioned and I had talked about a little bit earlier is that this shouldn't be necessarily like using music to educate to uh, help with clinical um, ailments or anything like that shouldn't be special in a way, right. right? I think it's something that needs to be brought to the forefront and kind of bring more awareness to the populace is how mm-hmm. important music is and how much of it is just kind of wired into us and how much yeah. it's kind of ingrained specifically um, to for all those different factors. We won't go through everything like we did, but essentially what we had discussed in the past um, or, or previously so yeah it's cool i'm really excited for this hopefully you guys will enjoy it this is not well, something probably, that'll happen so it's probably a couple of weeks out right Two it'll weeks be more out? than a couple of weeks out <laughs> well i mean when are we recorded uh weeks? whenever we're we're ready it'll be volume one by the end of yeah it'll, say, it'll be one. this volume so. it'll be this volume so oh baby so, so that'll be our plan is to do probably one deer Per volume. Per volume. Maybe two, depending on... It's not hunting season yet. Huh? 
I didn't know what you It's not said, a hun. Not, when said, you first said the deer <laughs> series, that's what I thought. I thought, like, why are you talking about deer? We're going to go murk some deer <laughs> in the middle of our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, take this deer. <laughs> just, oh, yeah. just throwing hands. We don't need guys going. <laughs> <laughs> just throwing hands with a deer. I can handle myself. <laughs> My family's got to eat. <laughs> Give me that meat, dear. <laughs> we just jump on it and just start gnawing. Yeah. Just I was right like, are we talking about different kinds of deer? And we vlog like, it what's the, the whole bit? time. Yeah. Vlog, yeah. Vlog, just vlog. Jeff in a corner, like, gouging we himself. Just, with. We just turn this room into an arena. And it's me in a corner and a deer in the other one. <laughs> ding, ding. Yeah. I'm the coach of the deer. Brian's the coach of you. We're just, like, p- hyping them up before yeah. the match. <laughs> Oh, it'd be incredible. <laughs> Think about the views. <laughs> Man deer versus what, deer. Jeff? <laughs> Man versus deer. <laughs> Season one. <laughs> We're going to cancel because Jeff actually got murdered. <laughs> <laughs> need a new host. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's all I got for the uh, the deer series. Uh, so that'll be our first episode. will be kind of our, our love letter to music. What other upcoming projects do we have? Oh, so, you know, we're going to be touching grass in a musical. Yeah. <laughs> you go touch grass. Yes. Lost in thought touches grass. Lost in thought touches grass for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. We just bend over, touch grass, and just, like, outbreak. <laughs> just get hives. All over. We, we get Thanos, <laughs> Thanos snapped out of existence. <laughs> we just melt. <laughs> oh, oh, goodness. Get Can we I knew this was a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> we just... I have a but bad yeah, so, feeling about this. So <laughs> when are we vlogging? <laughs> so potential vlogs, potential We're vlogs. Hopefully, we'll still be lower today. <laughs> You're right. I don't know. <laughs> we'll potentially, uh, um, trying to do some commentary or uh, s- sports commentary. At least. Can we get our, <laughs> Can we do our calendar? Can we make our calendar that we joked about a long time ago? What calendar? The one with our matching sweatshirts and we were going to get... <laughs> oh, you mean like the picture. Yeah. You know how like... How we were going to get... Oh, yeah. yeah. And we were going to make a calendar out of all the pictures. That, we <laughs> that would be so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that would be really For good. For context, actually. we have a group chat that's the three of I us and that. Eric. You know what's funny? I don't... It, and it we was have me and you, Jeff, had the exact yes. same outfit on. Yeah, and, and I have no clue how that happened. The, did you? I don't know. The little bit emojis <laughs> all have matching outfits. And so I was like, we could all have matching outfits. So all our <laughs> we all have. They had, they had accidentally had matching outfits, Which and then miss. me and Eric switched our bit bit emojis to match their matching outfits. <laughs> So our group chat has matching outfits. That's so we great. thought about getting all the same outfit and doing a photo shoot. Yes. <laughs> and then making a calendar out of the pictures. I think that's the best idea. We could do a music video too. That's true. <laughs> okay, I've, I've, music I've video. actually been thinking about that for a while. I thought about that too. I, like, like no joke. Like, like legitimately, we need to put some songs down and make some music videos. <laughs> I'm like, we could just do like a parody of... I don't know, some Backstreet Boys. <laughs> I mean, look what you did with the intro. I, you could do right. so Go much more. Do acapella. We yeah. actually are, have you heard about our acapella group we are forming? <laughs> no. Yeah, the yeah, three of us. It's hymns. supposed to be four, but <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be Jesus quartet. Loves <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to be us sitting like this, just all <laughs> singing. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do some gothic Christian Barbershop music. Court, yeah. <laughs> Just scream. <laughs> Look. Just scream. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. It's going to be great. But yeah, so that, yeah, we're just kind of pondering ideas and hopefully we're, we just want to relate to you. And if there's something you guys want, let us know oh, we'll in the comments it. below. Make sure we'll to like. It. Put like, it in the comments. Comment and subscribe to hey, get do like, we did... your voice name heard. Congrats, Eric. Hey, I, yeah, Brian, congrats. I'm going to get this. I, I skipped ahead. I'm on the ball, Brian. You yeah, but I skipped ahead because I, congr- I wanted to say congrats but, yeah, first. Congrats, Eric. Congrats, Eric. So, yeah, no context. Just congrats, Eric. Congrats. You'll figure it out. Your second figure. engagement hopefully goes better this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With the same person yeah. one day apart. Yeah. Oh, rough. Yeah. Weird story. A awkward. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So Some congrats, people are gonna for, not know the context on that. And it's However, gonna be real congrats confusing. on the piano. Two dollars, not bad. Two, two, two they got a two dollar piano, <laughs> a full acoustic piano. 
two dollars. Two dollars. I wonder nice. if any of the keys work. Goodwill or just probably is the like best. None of the That's strings why. are in. <laughs> the hammers are it's, all it's gone. It's just one of those where you hit a key and it plays a pre-recorded <laughs> song. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna have to build the entire soundboard. Oh. <laughs> uh, does Lily want to plug her business before we end? Uh, I take photos. Make sure to like, like and subscribe. And subscribe. <laughs> <Lost it. laughs> See you next week. <laughs> Bye. Uh, no, no, go ahead, Lily. Oh, we have time. Yeah, um, we it's have called pictures from Photos me. by LG. Um, Instagram and Facebook. Like and subscribe. <laughs> we'll put that in the description below. So it'll be there. That Thanks, being guys. said, sing us out, Lily. Go ahead and that's funny. Sing our outro. That's what all our guests do. <laughs> It's true. So we go made Brex to do it. This was not part of the deal. You we don't tell people until they're here. here. Yeah. You didn't see that clause? It was in very, very fine, <laughs> fine print. <laughs> Bottom right corner. We're Rex did a very anything. good job. Brex actually did great. So we're we're very excited to see what you have to offer. Oh, what am I yeah, supposed to say? Yeah, he Slim Shady. Except with us. In it. <laughs> I'm not that skilled. So, um. What what would you like me to sing? Anything. <laughs> no, it's up to you. Uh, I don't like this pressure. It's up to you. What's your pleasure, everybody? everybody. <laughs> I don't want to. Come on. Okay. We're almost there. Come on. Uh, I thought this that was is too it. much pressure. <laughs>